Android, an open source operating system designed primarily for smartphones, tablets, computers, and even glasses. Open source. It permits users and developers to study, change, and improve the software. With millions of applications, games, songs, and videos on the Google Play Store, Android is great for customization, tweaking, modifying, and overall you're in control of your mobile experience. But with all of these apps clustered randomly throughout the Google Play Store, it makes it complicated for users to find the right applications to customize and make their phone stand out over the crowd. With that being said, here is What's On My Phone, starring Facundo Osmeister. Alright guys, so I need you guys to go down to the description of this video and download the How To Men setup file. It's free and you can download it really fast. Automatically put it on your phone's SD card or your internal storage and I'm going to show you how to use it. It's a basic overview of the, what this video is about. It's going to give you all my widgets, all my applications, my wallpapers, everything in there, my fonts as well. And I will be showing you how to integrate and use this folder to the fullest of its abilities. So let's begin this video. The last time I made a what's on my phone, it was back in 2012 when I had my HTC Amaze 4G. And when I looked at that video, I felt like something was missing. Just something wasn't there. After a year of searching, reading articles, trying out hundreds of applications, I finally discovered what an Android phone should look like. The answer, my friends, is simplicity. Most people who have an Android phone tend to want dozens of widgets, live wallpapers, two or three launchers, hundreds of apps, but in the end they encounter memory issues, too much RAM usage, battery drain, overheating, and my favorite, lag. Simplicity allows users to have smoothness, no battery issues, it's easy to use, and it looks gorgeous in the appearance. Sure, you may not have all of these information widgets or these sweet live wallpapers, but is it really worth all the problems? Alright guys, so here are the requirements, applications you might want to install to obtain my theme all over your phone. Alright, so first up, you want to download Ultimate Custom Widget or UCCW, it's free in the Play Store. Next is Apex Launcher, it's free as well. Widget Locker is free. And then font installer, it's free, but you do need root, so make sure you have that. Jai's icons, this is free or a dollar in the Play Store if you want to get all of the full icons or the full features. And Jive wallpapers, this is actually free in the Play Store. The phone. My day-to-day -day Android device as of right now is the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 serviced by T-Mobile. Although it's not noticeable, I do have a screen protector and I will have a link down in the description so you can go check it out. My device is fully rooted, running a popular custom ROM called CyanogenMod 10.1. I am also running Android 4.2.2 and I will be updating to Android 4.3 once CyanogenMod fixes all of their bugs in CyanogenMod 10.2. Launcher First off, I use Apex Launcher for my home screen. Because it has very smooth transitions, it allows me to mix each theme up and it's very fast and simple to use. Icons and theme. For my icon pack, I use Jive icons because it reminds me of the Halo icons in Paranoid, and they just look beautiful. They are a dollar in the Play Store, but it's well worth your money. To apply this to your Apex launcher, go into the settings, then theme settings, then you will see Jive and click on it. Then check icon pack and skin only. Don't choose the live wallpaper or the wallpaper. Then hit apply. And now you have my icons and my overall theme. Wallpaper. In the how to men setup, I have included a couple of wallpapers that I have found very impressive and you might like as well. So go into the folder of the how to men setup file and you will find all the applications I recommend for you guys. But for my personal wallpaper, I downloaded an app called Jive Wallpapers and it's very simple to use. It's free in the Play Store and I use the blue wallpaper that they have. Font. I do not have stock font on my phone. So I provided you with the font I am using in the How To Men setup file 
and you can apply that font throughout your entire system using font installer free in the Play Store. Once you download it, open it up and go to the local tab. Find the How To Men Setup folder that you downloaded, go to the font folder and select Railway. That's what the font is called. Press install afterwards and then reboot your Android device and now you have my font all over your system, in the settings, applications, everywhere. Lock screen. I am not running Cyan Jumont's lock screen, but instead I have Widget Locker as my main lock screen. You can download it free in the Play Store. Also, you may have noticed that the lock button has changed. That is because I have a theme on it. Before we apply the theme to the lock screen, what I need you guys to do is go into any file manager. I use Astro File Manager, go into lock screen, and I need you guys to go into the theme folder, copy that theme, and you're going to actually move it to a folder called data. And once you tap on it, it's going to come up with a folder called com.telsa. Tap on that again, press the theme folder, and you're going to paste it there. And that is going to allow you to see the theme in the widget locker. To apply the theme, go into the widget locker app, long press the screen, and tap on custom slider. Then tap on the theme bar and scroll down till you see theme and tap on it. Make sure to uncheck tablet style mode and click done and once you're done you can add your applications to the slider. The clock that you see can be added to your lock screen as a widget. So to add it, long press the home screen, choose widgets, scroll down to UCCW, then choose 5x2, then click on the UZIP on the top right corner and find the file source you downloaded called How To Men Setup. Click on the lock screen, then widget, and then date lock screen dot uzip. This file was downloaded to your device when you downloaded the how to men setup file. Another cool thing about widget locker is that you can swipe your finger from the left side and it pops up with bezel apps, which is another word for your favorite applications, which you can change in the settings and on the right side you have your camera just like the jelly bean lock screen. If you want to change the lock screen so it looks like mine, go into the settings and go into look and feel and change the background tint to the second lowest setting on both options. In the screen orientation, force the portrait mode and you want to leave it so that way it looks nice. You also want to make sure the animation is zoom so when you unlock it, it zooms in. It looks very nice, I promise. And now you have my lock screen on your phone. Now you can show it off to your friends and I hope you like it. Apex settings. Home screen settings. Before we get into the home screens, we first need to tweak the settings just a bit so that way it looks even better. First go into your apex settings and click the home screen settings. In the layout section, change the portrait grid to 8x6, make the horizontal margin small, and change the icon size to 90%. For scrolling, change infinite scrolling to bounce, disable elastic scrolling, change the minimum scrolling time to 14, and make sure the transition effect is tablet. Scroll down to the UI options and select the tablet UI mode and make sure the search bar style is Jelly Bean. Dock settings. First off, you want to enable it. In the layout, change the number of dock pages to 1 and the number of dock icons to 7. The icon size should be again 90%. That is it for dock settings. Drawer settings. Change the drawer background transparency to 0%. I recommend changing the portrait grid to 6x6 because it's going to be just perfect. Change the icon size to 90%. Scroll down to tabs and the drawer tab icon should be Play Store and click on Manage the Drawer. In here, make sure you add the apps, new, and widget tab in the order I have it in. That's it for drawer settings. Home screen. So now that we are going into the home screen, first off, I want to tell you guys that I created my home screen based off the concept of Android 5.0, the new operating system that will be later known as Keyline Pi. Please note that a concept does not mean it's going to look exactly like Android 5.0, but it will look similar to it. Screen one. For the first screen, which is the most important screen on your launcher, there are three widgets and 12 spaces for any applications of your choosing. To put all three widgets onto your home screen, make sure you follow these steps. So first you want to long press the home screen and you want to choose widgets, scroll down to 
UCCW and then choose 5x2. And then click the use zip option in the top right corner. Find all the widgets for screen 1 in the how to men setup folder and go into screen 1 widgets then click on date. Do the same steps for the other two widgets if you want them. Screen 2. This screen only has two widgets. It's the how to men text and you can change it to any text you want and the top apps of the week application. To add these widgets, once again, add a UCCW 5x2 widget to the home screen, choose UZIP, then go to the How To Men Setup folder, then choose Screen 2, then Widgets, and then they both should be there. Choose one of them, and then in the UCCW app, you can click Edit Objects, then Static Text 1, scroll down to text, and change it to whatever you want. If it's too big or small, change the size of the text. Then click save and go to your screen 2 again and it should be there. Screen 3 and 4. In screen 3 and 4 I left it blank so you guys can add whatever you want in those screens. So get creative. Screen 5. In screen 5 I have the Apollo Music Player widget which is only available with the Cyanogemod ROM. That is the only thing I have on that screen. Anything else you can do whatever you want in it. Applications. For all of my applications, you can find them in the How To Men Setup file. I took screenshots of my app drawers and I included a screenshot of my favorite and most used apps on my phone. You can only find that screenshot in the How To Men Setup file, which is free to download in the description. Cyanogemod. One more thing, if you're running Cyanogemod, I am using a theme called Hollow Glass, which makes every screen transparent and it looks beautiful. When you open up the settings or almost any application, it looks transparent with your wallpaper right then and there. And also for Cyanogemod users, I have a special mode in my settings. So go into the settings, scroll down to advance, go to the screen tab, select mode, and choose natural. It makes all the colors warm and look smooth. Now this is what I use. This is only for Cyanogemod 10.1. That's it for this segment guys, if you liked this video give it a thumbs up, please, and share this video to your friends. Follow us at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Palringo at HowToMen, and subscribe, please. It helps us out so much and I am sure you won't regret it. Thank you so much and kapow!